Nearly 7 million people are living with Alzheimer's here in the U.S. and it impacts so many of our loved ones. It really does and that's why the Alzheimer's Association is fighting to end the disease through research, education, reduction and early detection. And those of us right here in Pittsburgh can help. We have Paul Horan and Mrs. Pennsylvania 2024 Amanda Nietrauer joining us now to talk a little bit more about this. So glad to have you. I love the purple that you wore yes. to support <laughs> Alzheimer's research. Um, I, I really want to hear from both of you about your own personal journeys with this and why this became such a platform for the two of you. Um, Amanda, let's start with you. Yes, absolutely. So as Mrs. Pennsylvania, my platform's all around raising awareness of the challenges that caregivers face and how we should support them. So I am a caregiver. I'm a mom to two beautiful boys, uh, five and two and a half. I'm also a full-time caregiver to my mother who has Alzheimer's, was wow. formally diagnosed two years ago. So she lives with me. I handle all of her, all of her needs and is extremely challenging. Sure. And the Alzheimer's Association, this walk is not just about raising money for the cure, it's also about supporting all of their advocacy efforts, including advocating for caregivers like myself and making sure that we can help to take care of those millions of people that you mentioned who uh, we support. And for you, Paul? Yeah, I've uh, unfortunately lost my grandmother and my mother to Alzheimer's. Yeah. So um, that's why I'm, I'm here. I, I uh, became a, an empty nester with my wife here recently and had some extra time and wanted to identify a cause and going through what we went through with my grandmother and ultimately my mom and saw that slow degradation of their life was very difficult. Yeah. And uh, so we wanted to get involved, raise awareness and uh, hopefully raise funds to and the and cause. And yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I also lost my grandmother to Alzheimer's and it is a nasty disease. It is something that I, I truly don't wish on my worst enemy. And as someone, the caregiver, and as someone who's gone through it yourself with a family member as well, what do you wish that people knew more about this disease? Because I also feel like you, every, you either know too much or you know nothing at all. Right. I will just say I wish that more people were aware of uh, early signs to look for and the fact that most times you find out someone has it after the disease has progressed so much. So we need so much more awareness around even what it looks like and also caregivers just are not thought of enough in our society as a whole. Mm -hmm. And so take it from the Alzheimer's Association, really pay more attention to us because we're the ones that live it and can tell you what we need. Well, especially I mean, we've, we've heard more recently about the sandwich generation yes. and I think it's happening so much more as we're choosing to have children later in life. And now we're taking care yes. of our parents and our kids at the same time. I mean, it's, it has to be incredibly challenging for you right now. It's beyond challenging. Yeah. I tell people that this is the hardest thing I've ever done because yeah. it's not just the mental and emotional toll of watching a woman who is my best friend go through this disease in real time. Also, I am the person who's responsible for her. And so it's been very difficult because there's no roadmap yeah. to tell me what to do. It's literally minute by minute. And so we need to not only end this disease, but in the meantime, right, what do we as people need to better support us and also uh, create better dignity for the people who are living with the disease? Yeah. With the disease? Oh, gosh. Well, we see you. We hear you. Yes, you. absolutely. I mean, truly doing the Lord's work. So what can we expect from the walk? Because I will say we are blessed to have many wonderful nonprofits and many walks, but the Alzheimer's walk has forever been one of the biggest one. I, I swear you could see it from space. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, we're, we're, we're proud of that fact. So yes. it's Saturday, October 19th. Mm -hmm. uh, registration starts at 930. Uh, opening ceremonies at 1030 and the walk should begin soon thereafter, probably around 11 o'clock or so. There's either a one mile or a two mile walk, so you can pick your pick, pick your poison, if you will. Yeah. Um, but it's a wonderful event. A lot of great people there to support. You know, to back to your question, um, when, when I went through what I went through with my mom and my grandmother, I didn't, honestly, I didn't recognize or realize the Alzheimer's had so much support and, and, and opportunities to help. Uh, now that I am involved, Check out ALZ.org. Mm -hmm. There's many, many things out there to help caregivers yeah. like Amanda and, and those that are suffering. So really wonderful that both of you are on board with this. And thank you for using your platform, you know, taking this across the country to kind of speak about it. Thank you. Thank yes, you. we really wish your family the best. Appreciate it. The Walk to End Alzheimer's is next Saturday, October 19th. The registration is at 930 in the morning and the walk begins at 11 at Highmark Stadium. Visit our website, kdk.com slash talk Pittsburgh for more info.